He wasn't a picture-perfect return home for your Charlottetown Islanders this week, who dropped two games out of a possible three to the Halifax Mooseheads and Cape Breton Eagles. Slow starts hampered the Islanders in both of those losses, unable to overcome first-period deficits en route to the losses. Hockey's a 60-minute game or longer, and we only played 40 minutes of those games. And, I mean, we played real well in those 40 minutes but I mean you can't win hockey games if you're not going to compete for the entirety of the game and I think that's kind of what we're going to be focusing on this week in practice and there's lots of positives to build on I mean our record still sits really nice and it's good to face this adversity early on and kind of build off it so we're happy we're facing it now and um, working on it this week. Halifax and, and Cape Breton have some young uh, fast teams and I mean uh, after not playing for I don't know how long it was probably couple months here for a lot of the guys and, and and myself especially i mean it's it's hard to get back in the game so i think we just got to keep uh keep working in practice and i think uh we'll get back at it i know this this team had a really really good uh success the first half of the year so i think it's just just building everything back up and, and getting back after it the three games marked the debuts for both Patrick Gay and Braden Virtue, who experienced a little bit of trial by fire with just one practice before the three games following their two-week isolation period. Neither looked out of place, however, and both impressed players and coaches alike, with Gay picking up two points in those games. I was fired up. It was good to get back playing. It was uh, I hadn't played a game since the end of November, so so it was exciting for sure. You know, it was, it was a little different, but I think, uh, I think the first two games were good. I, I had a lot of energy, but the last one, you know, third game and fourth night it was a little bit tiring on my body but you know it takes time getting back used to it so Jim kind of joked about it in video how they just got thrown into the fire right away like um so but they did real well for coming out of a quarantine and all that and you can really see the skill that uh, both of them have and um, it's going to be fun going into playoffs and getting to finish the second half with them here. The team now has a full week of practice ahead of them before their two road games this weekend, something that only a couple of weeks ago might not have seemed like much of a luxury. With that said, the team is working on getting back to basics this week and ensuring that all players are on the same page. We just have to be all focused and ready to go, right? And practice gets going because, I mean, now we have practice plans put up before and, um, some days we'll mess up passes and all that at the start of practice and we're not talking as much and communicating. And I think today, right off the bat, we had, we had a real high tempo practice and everyone was focused in their defensive structure and all that. So it was just really fun and I'm looking forward to carrying that through the next few days. Yeah, we've been focusing a lot on, on just getting back to our structure this week so far and just working on little things like one-on-one -on -one battles and, and making uh, – breakouts and, and, and things like that. So it's going to help help in the long run here with the next, the games coming up. And I think it's, it's going to help out a lot for sure. Just, just getting to understand the systems more and just getting back, back to it again. The Isles next two games are this weekend on the road, starting Saturday afternoon at 4 PM in Halifax against the Mooseheads and Sunday afternoon at 3 PM against the Cape Breton Eagles. You can catch those games at five of our viewing partners across Charlottetown, the PEI Brewing Company, the factory downtown, Outriders Cookhouse, Boston Pizza, and Dooley's on Kent Street. Saturday afternoon's game can be heard live on the airwaves on Ocean 100 Saturday Night Hockey, while all games can be viewed live on East Link, Channel 610. For your Charlottetown Islanders, this has been Eye on the Isles, and I'm Aiden Northcott.